Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another eating video. Y'all wondering, or some of y'all wondering where the pork rinds video or videos went? They're back. So I got these like two days ago, and I've been biding my time making this because I had a, I had something for acting I had to do that was like eight hours long. I stayed from 10 p.m. to like 7 a.m. That was not fun at all. Um, but it was fairly simple on what we did. So it is what it is. I got the honey mustard version it's like it's like it's it's really uh i'm assuming it's really good i mean if it's anything honey mustard related it's got to be good i believe i have the same i believe don't quote me this is the same brand i had for the last one although i don't know so yeah there's that <laughs> smells like honey mustard and pork rinds you know now that i think about it i don't think honey mustard and pork rinds are ever meant to be mixed like ever what yet somehow here we are this is society for you all right let's do this Hmm, what do you know? It tastes like pork rinds. But honey mustard. <laughs> Who would have thought? The honey mustard is like very faint. Maybe it's just because it's the top, the top part. But it's very, very faint. Mm, that was a good one. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. I wonder what pork rinds are actually made of. Like, I know they're made of pork, right? But like what? I just said fried fried pork skin. So I'm guessing they just skin the entire pig and then just There you go, pork rinds. Maybe not. Mmm. That one has some good grinds to it. So you know it's good. Can pork rinds go bad? What? I don't even think they can. Huh, it's owned by Frito Life. Again, you learn something new every day. I feel like the fats for each one of these, regardless of if they're the same flavor, is different. Because the last one I think was like six turns of fat, this one was 4.5. I don't know what it is. Like, I don't even remember the first time I actually had pork rinds. Because, like, pork rinds for the longest time, I, for what I can remember, have been like one of my favorite snacks. But I don't remember ever eating my very first one. You would think if they're your favorite, you'd remember the first. But I don't. What happens if I eat a lot of these? Is it gonna dry out my mouth? I'm kind of doing it right now. <laughs> uh, these are much drier than the last ones. It's been America's favorite pork skin snacks for over 50 years. Each crispy, crunchy bite is carefully cooked to perfection and delivers the great flavor that has been loved for generations. I'm only just not hearing about this. So grab a bag and enjoy the great taste of America's favorite pork skin snack. Hmm. Overall, I don't know. Like, the mustard, I think it was because of the top ones that didn't have enough mustard on it or something like that. Like, the mustard seasoning. But now that I'm getting towards the middle, I'm starting to taste both pork skin as well as honey mustard. Because the pork skin was a bit overbearing towards the beginning. Um, and I'm not saying that it still isn't, but it's like a mixture of the two. It's like, it's like a good balance. Some of them are, at least. I will give them one thing. The crunchiness is always there. Like, they never fail to impress when it comes to the crunchiness. Like, ever. The one downside is just it dries out your mouth so much. Okay, good. Wait, they're artificially covered? What are they supposed to look like? Don't talk with your mouth full. Maybe they... Different colors for different... Flavors? Chicharrones. I think that's how you say it. Chicharrones. I guess that's like, that's Spanish for honey mustard, right? Maybe. Mm. Yeah, no, the mustard's really starting to... It's really there now. And it's good. So if you get one of these, just reach towards the bottom. It'll start tasting like mustard. Or just shake it around. Have like the, the bottom part, like, get on the top or whatever. It'll be good. It'll be fine. So overall, since I like honey mustard in general, and it's like really low, you can get it at like Walmart or pretty much anywhere to be honest. I rate it like a 7.5 out of 10. I mean, the honey mustard's there, it's just... It's a bit overbearing when it comes to the pork skins, because like the pork skins overtake the honey mustard as a whole. It's supposed to have an even balance. And while there were some of them that had an even balance, the ratio of good to bad is just like not there. It's, 
it's the bad just overtakes the good so at 7.5 honestly the barbecue ones that i did before were a lot better because like i don't know it just it, it felt like the barbecue was meant to be there because like fried pork skins and barbecue like that that's perfect like it doesn't matter if it overtakes it or doesn't because it's barbecue it just just sounds good with it but honey mustard you got to be careful with that one it can it can go uh it can go wrong very very quick and it kind of did with this one so uh, yeah that was me reviewing the honey mustard uh fried pork skins uh hope you all enjoyed i'll see y'all later Peace.